wrong. You went for a long, long life. I mean, it should bother you, but you shouldn't be upset because I don't think there's anybody in here that hasn't been wrong. Grace Christ, have you ever been wrong? No. See, that's the attitude. You should say you don't always want to be wrong, but a lot of times. <laughs> Under the little subheading there of scale drawings, children. Um, we use scale drawings because, like, let's say you're building a house, Carol Winkleman. Why, why, when you look at the blueprints, Carol Winkleman, for your house, why do they have to make it a smaller scale? What would happen if they made the drawings actual size? <laughs> yes, it would be rather awkward and clumsy to try to unroll the piece of paper that is drawn the exact same size of your house. So they cut it down proportionately. Uh, in the, when you go to um, architect school or whatever drafting school, when you draw, when you do scale drawings, there's a phrase that you need to understand. One of them is the phrase that says, drawn to scale, or the one you probably really need to watch out for is the phrase that says, not drawn to scale. And not always do you have to draw drawings to scale. To scale means that it is proportional. Not drawn to scale means it's not proportional. And an example of that would be this. Okay. Um, you know, if if you were, let's say you had some friends that lived in Texas, and you were drawing them a map for to get from their house to your house. And I know you go use Google and MapQuest or whatever it is. You know, you would not probably draw it to scale because. When you get close to your house, let's say we're going to Jaden's house. Okay. Because when these when these people get to Yorkville and they get to Jaden's house, they need to see every kind of little street or whatever to get to Jaden's house. When they're driving from Texas, you know, if I'm going from Yorkville to Jaden's house and I make this distance this long from here to here on my, on my drawing, if I were going to draw this to scale, because this is probably a matter of maybe five miles, okay, if my little five miles there ended up being that four inches on my drawing, if I were going to draw it to scale, then my distance from Yorkville to Texas on my paper let's say Texas is 1,500 miles, I would have to do, 5 into 1,500 is, I would have to do 300 inches of lines on my paper to get there. So because it doesn't really matter what happens in between here, because we'll just take it exactly <coughs> there, you would just say, oh, here's Texas. You know, when you get to Route 47, okay, that's here. So this would not be the scale because you know, there's no reason for you to draw the line 300 inches long because they don't need to know that. This one has to be bigger because you're trying to give me you all know, your turn and walk right on Route 71 and then right on Reservation, right on Reservation 1 in Houston, or what's the other one? Van Emmen on one and Reservation on the other? So that's what. Now, when you're drawing a house, then you need to be drawn to scale because those measurements are very important. You know, you have to give that there. You need to be able to take your ruler and be able to measure all that. And that's what we're really talking about today is scale drawings, things that are drawn to scale. And when you do that, you definitely need to do, just like percents and ratios, you need to do a ratio box. And your ratio box basically is going to look like this. Okay, you've got um, you've got your scale, 
and you're going to split your scale into uh, whatever measurements they're using. You've got the drawing, and then you've got the actual, and then over here you've got whatever measurement you're trying to find. And I, it'll make more sense when I write up a problem here. I should have cleared my screen. Is that a good one today? Good. Thanks for answering. Here it is. This is the problem here. Mary sketched a garden in the scale of one inch equals two feet. Mary sketched a garden in the scale of one inch equals two feet. So that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is your scale. And that is what you put here. On the drawing, one inch equals, in actuality, two feet. And then you can put whatever other numbers they give you there to figure out the thing. Uh, if, 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 if the garden is eight inches long on the drawing, if the garden is eight inches long, on the drawing, how long is it for real? How actual long is it? So make sure you know 8 inches is the drawing, so 8 inches goes with the drawing. So it's important for you to label these things, otherwise you get confused. And it's done just like we do any equal fractions, ratios. What times 1 gives you 8? Eight? 8. So in actuality, 2 times 8, it would be 16 feet or real. You just got to plug that in. But please make sure, you know, these have to be, these have to be the same, in the same units, and these have to be in the same units. In other words, I couldn't put one inch here and make this in feet. These both need to be in inches. These can be in feet. They can be in any two as long as those side by side ones are the same. You're saying, hey, let's try something else. Not very quick today. Um, here we go. A map is drawn with a scale of one inch. Map scale is one inch equals eight miles. And reading a map is kind of a thing of the past because all you all have little smartphones and you all get to tell you Two towns are two and three fourths inches apart. Two towns are two and three fourths inches apart on the map. Uh, how far are they actually? So again, you're going to want to on your paper. On your paper, you have nice squares, so. Here is your scale. On the drawing, my scale is what? One inch. Actually, one inch is eight miles. This says it's really two and three fourths inches. So what would this be? So what am I going to do? Well, this one's not so bad. To go from one to two and three fourths, I multiply by. Uh, I heard one person, two, three, four. So I just need to take eight times two and three fourths. What is eight times two and three fourths? Eight over one times what? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fourths. That crosses off with that. And you end up with? Somebody said it, they just didn't want to say it loud. One, two, two, miles. Anybody have issues with that? Questions? Concerns? Mitch! I do flip uh, the eight. Oh, never mind. Why did I flip this? I did yeah, eight. never mind. Eight or eight is a fraction. Yeah. I might flip fractions when it's division. 